In this video, we're going to set up and manage new columns in the D2L Grade Center. You'll do this from the Manage Grades screen, which you can access by selecting Grades under the Grades menu, or by selecting Grades from the Edit Course screen, and then clicking the second link here called Manage Grades. This will take you to a screen where you can create, edit, reorder, and change the settings for the various grade columns in your course. In this sample course, I've only created one column so far called Participation Score, and you can see it here. You can see in this chart that this is a numeric column, meaning the data in the column will be a number. It is currently not associated with an activity in my course, and it is worth 100 points total. Now let's create a gradebook column, then we'll look at creating a new gradebook category and talk about how we can manage these columns and change their settings. To create a new grade column, you select Item from the New Button drop-down menu. Where the gradebook is concerned, D2L refers to grade columns as grade items. Now, Categories refers to a way of organizing columns, and it's particularly important if you're going to need D2L to weight your calculated score for you. But we'll get to Categories in a minute. For now, we're going to create the column, or item, here from the New menu. Next, you have to select what type of grade item or column you want to create. Now, most of the time, you'll probably just choose the first item on this list, which is numeric. However, if you plan on using the gradebook extensively in your course, or if you're interested in using non-traditional grading methods, such as pass-fail for various assignments, it would be worth your time to explore the various other column types available to you. But for now, I'm just gonna pick numeric, since that is definitely the most common item type in the gradebook. Now, we're gonna use the new item screen to set up your column. You can give your grade item a name, and if you want to abbreviate that name for your view of the gradebook to save space, you can do that with the short name box. We currently do not have any categories set up, so we'll skip that area for now, and we're also going to skip the description for now. It is very important, however, to make sure that you have the proper number of maximum points listed for your column. If you're going to be awarding grades on a percentage scale, such as a 96 or an 82, you'll want to make sure you have 100 in the max points area, and so that's what I'm going to put here for now. Now at this point, we could just save and close and create the column with the default settings, and you may end up doing just that most of the time in your course, but I want to go through some of the options you have for this column in more detail in this video as well. First, if you plan on awarding any bonus points to students for this grade, you'll need to check the Can Exceed box. This bonus checkbox, when selected, will turn this particular column into extra credit, meaning that D2L won't count the column towards the total points possible for the course, but it will count toward the total points a student has earned if you're using grade calculations. Finally, if you don't want the column to count towards any calculations at all, you can just check the Exclude from Final Grade Calculations box. Unless you have additional grade schemes or rubrics created in your course, you'll probably just skip the grade scheme and rubric areas. So for now, let's move on to the display options, which allows you to make some important decisions about how your grades are displayed to students. Note that you may have to click, just like I'm gonna have to do here, click the Show Display Options link first to access these hidden settings. The first section of this area is Student View. You can see these first two checkboxes have to do with what you're displaying to students with regards to the grades awarded for the course. If you check them, students will see a chart icon on their grade screen for the grade item in question, and they can click that little icon to view either the class average, the grade distribution, or both, depending on which of these boxes you check. The next box says override display options for this item. Now in another video, we'll talk about changing display settings for your entire gradebook. But here we have the option to just override whatever those entire gradebook settings are for this particular item. You can see the current system settings for the gradebook here in ghosted type. If I wanted to change them for this item, I would have to click the override display options for this item, and then I can make any changes to this display checkboxes that I want. Now the same goes for the managing view area, which will change how you see the scores in the gradebook. So this upper area shows what your students see, this area down here shows what you see. Again, just click the override box and then make changes you want if you want to deviate from what the current system settings are. Now when you have all of these columns the way that you want for them in the grade screen, click save and close to return to the manage grade screen. And now you can see I have my new column name column it's numeric, I haven't associated it with any items in the course, and it is also worth 100 points. Now that we've created a grade column, let's create a grade column category. This is a necessary element if you're going to use the gradebook for weighted calculations, but even if you're only using the gradebook to display grades to students, using categories can keep both your view and the student view organized. 
Keep in mind that when you're looking at the gradebook, both from the instructor and the student view, you will see them by category. So this is how you're going to be viewing columns in the gradebook. So to create a category, I select category from the new button menu. I give my category a name, a short name if I wish, and then you're going to notice some similar settings options from the new item screen. Now these setting options work exactly the same way, they only are working category wide when you set them up for the category, and then we'll go into distribution and calculation options in another video. So for now, that I have the name of my category, I'm just going to click save and close. And now you can see I have a week one category, it still doesn't have any columns assigned to it, but I have a week one category here on the manage grades list. Now let's talk about how we can move an existing column, edit it so that it appears under a certain category. So to do that, I'm going to go to this column I just created, I'm going to edit the grade item, which is the first item from the little drop down menu, and here in the category view, now that I have a week one category created, I can select that category from the list and hit save and close. And now you'll see that the column name category or the column name item I created shows up in the week one category. Let's do the same thing for participation score. I'm going to edit the grade item. I'm going to select my category and hit save and close. Now you can see I have this category with both items underneath of it. Now that we've created columns and categories, let's go over how to rearrange those columns and categories into whatever order will be most convenient and intuitive for you and your students to view. To reorder your gradebook, you will have to use the More Actions drop-down menu here on the Manage Grades screen to select Reorder, which is the second option down. On this Reorder Grade Items and Categories screen, you can sort categories and items within a category by using the Sort Order drop-down menu here on the right-hand side of the screen. For this example, I'll make the participation score the first item within week one, and then I'll click save to return to the manage grade screen. This concludes our video on creating and managing columns in your D2L gradebook. In future videos, we'll talk about setting up grade calculations and attaching gradebook columns to various activities in your course.